Devin Pike with the Dallas International Film Festival. And one of the great things about having a thriving film community is that you see people around town and in projects, and you see them over and over again. And when you get to the when it gets to festival time, you can almost make a band out of the all stars who are in multiple projects at the festival. Farrah White, Johnny Mars, Frank Mosley, and the always lovely Augustine Frizzell, who's here as well. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, three films at the festival this year. If you count the film you're here talking about today, I Was a Teenage Girl, uh, with Athena, your lead in the flick as well. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> we'll, we'll get you in the band later, so <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll start building up the resume and uh, we'll introduce you to Frank Mosley and your life will never be the same again. <laughs> First off, Augustine, come, it, when you come back to Diff and you see all these people again, obviously you work with them in projects over the year, but what's it like to come back and you see that community all in one place at one time? It's great. I mean, it's really nice to see everyone working and, <laughs> you know, and having these projects that we can all be pretty proud of, so I like it a lot. Talk a little bit about I Was a Teenage Girl, um, a, a short where it's, it's, it's two young ladies in a room basically hashing out not only their relationships but also just their, their place in themselves. So talk a little bit about the development of the film. Well, I really wanted to, to just talk about and explore um, that specific time period in a young girl's life. And for me, it was, a really, it was a really transitional period and it happened very fast. And so it's just a lot of things come at you that, that you feel very unprepared for and, um, and change you and you know, change your life in a very fast way. And so I wanted to explore like other ways that that would happen for girls and the stories. I originally made three shorts and they were all based around a similar theme, you know, these big events that change a girl's life. And so they weren't my personal experiences, but I just wanted to like explore other things that are hard for girls and maybe they could watch these shorts and feel comforted or, or just understood. Um, I think feeling understood is so important at that age and, and they don't often feel it. So I really want to work with that. As a narrative exercise, did you find that you were hitting a place in either your past or your present that you didn't expect to hit as you were doing the writing? Um, yes, I suppose I did. I, it was interesting because, um, because I noticed when I was in the writing process and I was passing it on to like my, um, my friends and you know fellow filmmakers for notes and like feedback and everything um it was it was funny how it started out being so so bare because it's stuff that's hard to talk about and 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 they would be like can you like have the girls you know maybe elaborate a little bit more and so i'd go back in and i'd think it was so uncomfortable <laughs> like, like just um as the writer because these things are so hard and when you're that age a lot of it is just like um a lot of ums and 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 like uh i don't know what to say and 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 it's hard to talk about so it was really hard as you know from the writing process to to like develop these um these bits of dialogue that that um are hard for the girls to say, you know, if, if that makes sense. So yeah, it was surprising how, how much I didn't want to write and how much I, I wanted it to just be like sparse, you know, and, and that awkwardness, but then you have to like flesh it out because it's, it's a script. <laughs> so yeah. So Athena, uh, pretend that she's not sitting next to you. <laughs> As you're reading the script and you, you know it's a, it's a very personal account, but also something you're going through at the current age where you are. Did you look at it as just another script, or were you feeling the authentic authenticity of it? Um, I, of course, I think it's very authentic. Um, I've not actually gone through any of that myself. I think it was, um, I, I guess, a little bit of both. Like, it was very authentic, of course. And um, from her past, of course, it's there's a little bit of stuff that she's told me that's kind of similar, and. Um, yeah, it was. I really like the script. So, <laughs> talk a little about about shooting because a short film, everything is heightened. You know, the the, the budget is minuscule at best, and it's generally coming out of the director's pocket. So, just talk a little about the process of, of shooting the movie and and getting it all on tape. Um, it it was one day. It was just one very long day sitting in my room. It was actually shot in my room with um, the co-star Claire and we just like we did it over and over again just working on it trying to make it as authentic as possible and um, I had a really good time and 
it was it was very hot in the room. <laughs> we had to turn off the air conditioning because <laughs> you know it makes a sound. But yeah. and well, well, plus if, if you're comfortable during a movie shoot, then you're not actually shooting a flick. <laughs> That's just how it works. So true. Uh, how did you How did you find Athena for the role? Um, we did auditions, and no, <laughs> yeah, I actually wrote all of the pieces, hoping that I would be able to provide some sort of um, challenge for her as an actress. And I think at this age, it's really hard to find really challenging material that stretches your acting muscles and so we talked about it and I knew I wanted to make something else and you know another short project and and she's, I was like I'm thinking about making something like this so what do you think she was like bring it on bring it on because you know <laughs> the things that she auditions for in general are like these cutesy like you know pu- bubblegum teen roles and so it's, she's like I want something hard like give me yeah, give me everything you got it's very rare to find something that's so um, deep and very serious and I I like doing that a lot more than like something comedy and or comedic and um, very light I like having a really deep character to work with and kind of get inside and so it's, it's not just a cardboard cutout yeah it's like a real person and um, yeah have you had a chance to see it with, like, I mean, this is the first time you're going to even see it on the big screen, correct? Or have you had a no, test we, screening of it No, we elsewhere? premiered at South by Southwest. Okay. So, yeah, we had a, we had a two or three, three screenings there, and then we had our first um, screening here in Dallas yesterday. So you're sitting in the back of the theater. Mm-hmm. How do you know that the <laughs> audience is, is there a point where you're, you're watching the movie and there's a the line where either the audience gets it or they don't. Did did you have that line in there? No, there there's not a line where they get it or they don't, but there is a line that that wasn't written to be funny, but it's really interesting cuz the first screening we had at South by everyone laughed. Like we had a bunch of people laugh at that line and from people I'd shown it to before premiering, you know, just like rough cuts and everything. A lot of people laughed at that line too. And I was like, this is so weird. Like, why is it, why is that funny? But then here at uh, Diff, the way that they scheduled the screening, uh, um, the shorts block, it was so nicely scheduled. Like the, the two movies that showed before mine in the block just built up perfectly to, to like get you set for the tone of mine. And so nobody laughed here. It was almost like, okay, well maybe it kind of depends on what you're programmed with and what the mood of the audience is. But no, no line specifically that, um, that you know, does one or another thing. Do you find that if you, when, you're, when you're programmed in a shorts block, do you find yourself you'd prefer to watch the stuff that's also in the block rather than your own film or do you just focus on the reaction of the audience to yours and you're just waiting for yours to start spooling? Oh no, I love seeing the other shorts. It's my favorite. I love shorts so much and every festival I go to I seek out like the shorts blocks. So it's cool to actually be in one. And like, but I have to say um, before my first screenings or any of the screenings it didn't really, I didn't really I wasn't prepared for the feeling that you get when yours comes on. Like, as an actor, I don't have those same nerves. I mean, it's like, you know, you you do your job and then it, and then you come and watch it. But this is, it's so personal and it's so crafted by me specifically and my team, of course. But um, I was really nervous, like, as soon as it started. Like, the first time it came on, and yesterday, too, and I wasn't prepared for it. And I started thinking, I was like... God, people may not like it. Like, like they're gonna have to spend the next however minutes, you know, six minutes, maybe liking or not liking it, and and so that was interesting. I never put it together that oh, people might not like this because they they might not. It's your baby, of course they're gonna like. <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, I know, and the reception's been really, really good. I'm very happy. So, so the end, are you gonna work with Augustine again? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> this is my mom, so. <laughs> Oh, I thought you I were. No oh, I thought you were being sarcastic earlier. I, <laughs> I like, oh, yeah. I, I really had no idea. Oh, okay, That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, I, well, well, hopefully. Now it's, a, it's a one piece of note that I didn't have for it. <laughs> Was it awkward for you to, to to work with that script then, now knowing that? Because that's a. I mean, that's got to be a daunting task in and of itself. Um, it was. Of course, it was awkward. I mean, um, we had to. I had to read it with her several times just to get the feel of it. And then when we were actually filming, um, it was awkward, of course. But yeah. <laughs> it can, really was. Yeah. Okay. We, <laughs> we, <laughs> I'm 
was blown away by this. That, yeah. That I thought you sense. were just joking. You were no. like, where did you find your lead actress? I, I'm sincerely. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, a lot of agencies yeah, passed on it, exactly. but you know. <laughs> That's, a, that's fantastic. Yeah. So so you're not going to work with her again. I can understand that there's a tension between that. Um, it, and you're not going to you know, be the Megan Fox, oh, working with her is working, working with Hitler. You right. know, I can, so um, with that in mind, as, as, as you're watching that film for the first time, do you see bits of yourself or bits of her in your performance as you're watching it after, after the edit's done and everything else? Um... Yeah, probably. That was, out of the three films, that was probably closest to just my personality. Just kind of, um, all of them were very, very um, drastic in personality, and that was kind of the calmest, kind of um, most uh, real to me kind of personality. But um, I probably I probably saw a lot of her, too, just because um, she wrote it, and it's... Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. The I the one piece of prep that I don't have, Augustine, you're killing me. <laughs> good, okay, good, good. sorry. Well, I didn't see it with an audience, so I don't... Yeah, uh, yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> you get these interviews and you wonder what you're going to get out of them. So, and it's a pleasure seeing you again. It's a pleasure Thank meeting you. you for the first it's time. Lovely to and I I can't wait to see the next collaboration between you two because that's going to be entertaining. Mm -hmm. Now that you got this one under your belt, mm -hmm. you know, are is there another project you want to do where where she's the lead? Yeah, I have a lot of things I want to work on. Um, I definitely write a lot with her in mind. But then there are a lot of things that, like maybe the next one that I'm doing is going to be a little bit too risque to hire my own daughter. <laughs> and so we're, we'll see. She was like, maybe I'll be old enough by then. I'm like, well, this is the script. So like, this is what happens in it. And she was like, well, yeah, maybe not. So we'll see. It may, may or may not work out, but it might be too too much. We'll see. The therapy bills might outweigh yes, the exactly. benefit from it. Exactly. I mean, it's a pleasure to meet you. Augustine, it's always good to see you. You too, you too. Thank you. You can find out more information about the film and all the great films at the festival at dallasfilm.org. Again, I Was a Teenage Girl, a phenomenal short and one of the many, many great shorts we have here at the festival. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much.